Hi, my name is Carlotta Berry, and I'm a professor of electrical and computer engineering and robotics, and I'm also an open source hardware trailblazer fellow. My project is Robotics for the Streets, Robots for Academics to Engage in Service, Teaching, and Learning, and I have created the Flower Bots, LilyBot, DaisyBot, and RosyBot. LilyBot is my smallest robot and is used for service and outreach as well as for high school robotics. DaisyBot is my next largest robot and it's used for high school students or perhaps freshmen in college to engage in learning a little bit about STEM and robotics. And RosyBot, which is my research platform robot, which will be used for upper level undergraduates or graduate students to engage in mobile robotics research. And today, we will add a buzzer to DaisyBot so that DaisyBot can play sounds. Please come along, and I hope you enjoy, and stay STEMtastic! So the first thing we're going to do is add a buzzer to DaisyBot. The buzzer is in the upper right-hand corner of the diagram here, where the black goes to ground, and the red goes to digital pin 8. All right, so here's our buzzer wired to DaisyBot. What you can see here is we have the, the buzzer right here on the breadboard. There's a red wire coming from one side of the buzzer and it goes to pin eight. And then the other side of the buzzer goes to ground. And now we will write the code to make the buzzer play. Okay, here's the code to play sound on DaisyBot. And so at the very top, we have a comment here that this code was modified from the SparkFun Inventors Kit version 3.0 to play a buzzer on their robot and to learn more about their code and their um, robot, please visit sparkfun.com forward slash SIK code or forward slash SIK guide. So the first thing we declare is that we're going to have a switch pin on A3 for turning the robot on and off. If you have a nine volt battery on your robot, the switch is on the battery pack and you don't need to do this part. And with that, we have the buzzer pin attached to digital pin eight. Next, we're going to have several variables that we need to play a song. One of them is the length of the song is 18. The tempo of the song is 113. The character notes are given here for each of the notes for the song, as well as the beats for each note is given here under the beats variable. Then under the setup function, we are going to declare the buzzer pin as an output. We're also going to have several lights that illuminate during the song. So we're going to have outputs for our lights as well, digital writing them high and low to indicate that the robot is about to start. And then we print a message that the robot is starting on the serial monitor. Inside the loop, we read the switch pin and if it is high, then that means the robot is on and it should play the song. Or if the pin is low, that means the robot is off and it should stop moving and stop playing the song. Then under our helper functions, we have a play song function that has a for loop for the length of the song and it sets the duration, which is the beats times the tempo. Then for each note, if it's a rest, it delays. Or if it's not a rest, then it plays that note based upon the frequency given the notes and the duration and then it iterates through this based upon the tempo between notes or the pause between notes. Then we also have a frequency function and this sets the frequency for each note based upon the character for the note that should be played. And you can also change the octave for that note as well. And then based upon that note, it puts in the character value for that frequency and then it iterates through each of them. And if it's the correct note, then it returns that frequency to play. Let's see what this looks like on the robot. <laughs> 